What's up guys? It is Tuesday night. Sorry I've been uh, slacking on the TG challenge and uh, vlogging and all that stuff, but I've been busy training for a triathlon and doing some uh, more focus on my practice, stuff like that. So it's been busy having a new baby. I have very limited time, so I'm going to put together a little TG challenge here tonight launch it on the Instagram stories and then tomorrow morning this vlog should go live um, yeah that's about all that's going on in my life right now pretty crazy busy but fun so what I'm gonna do for the cold shot challenge or TG challenge is I haven't shot in two or three days I'm gonna shoot at that orange dot on the target 30 yards Let's see how close I can come I just hope I can hit the thing. So, here goes nothing. Right there. Unfortunately, my target is so worn out, the arrow goes right through it, so. I'm just gonna shoot another one, heck with it. Almost hit it though, I'm definitely happy with it. That one was high. Shoot two more. Whoa. Put that one down. low as well. So I'll walk you up. At least show you that first shot. The other three were absolutely horrible, but like I said, I haven't shot in two or three days and that will do it to you for sure. So. First one just blew through the target, but it hit roughly like right there, so just above it. But as you can tell, those two are lower. Could be the fletching, who knows? But I'm gonna shoot another round or two and hopefully clean that up. All right, clip you back in here. So the reason why I have two that have four fletch on them is because I shot a groundhog the other day at 40 yards and I missed him on the first one, hit him on the second, but he snapped my arrow when he went down the hole. So uh, that other arrow, I, couldn't, I lost one, I couldn't find it, and the second one he broke, so I have to re-fletch those up yet. I haven't had a chance. That's better. Still pinch high. That was right there next to it. Dusted through the target. Oh. Horrible. Uh, unclip it here. I'm gonna go up and pull these arrows, and then I have just a little bit of daylight. It's really dark back here where I live. I'm gonna hop on the mountain bike and go out, glass the field for deer, turkeys, whatnot. So uh, I need to start shooting more. I know that. I'm 
not happy with those groups. Hopefully, here in the next few weeks, I get caught up on some things and can focus more on shooting. Like I said, that's the first time I picked the bow up in about three days. And maybe I shouldn't be launching them at 30, but uh, I'm going to shoot one more here just to get my confidence and then I'm gonna head out and look for some deer. That's better. I might as well shoot three more while I'm here, right? money that's quite a bit better 30 33 yards something like that so I'll hop on the bike get out the driveway see if there's any birds in the field well, they're probably in the roost by now but that are deer I've been keeping track of kind of how many deer are in the area and the numbers are up I saw a fawn with a doe today um, and it, it couldn't have been more than 24 hours old it was tiny so throw my bow in there constantly rushing around crazy 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 life but someday I'll look back and laugh at the crazy stuff I used to do now grab my mavens out of the truck hop on the bike I could take the quad but I just got this bike so I'm having fun with it sorry if things aren't in focus bike highly don't recommend doing that because I just about biffed it crank up my ISO a little bit here so you can see me but that was a close call I guess you shouldn't uh, they say don't text while you drive well don't self film yourself while you're at a bike either because I just about lost it but here's the fields Right over there is about where Finney and I got got shot by that Amish kid. I have the ISO cranked up so it's actually pretty dark outside. But technology, it's a beautiful thing. There's a couple deer out up there in the corner. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven or eight. Not there. It's almost too dark. Luckily, with these mavens, it does brighten it up just like the ISO on my uh, camera. But I like to get out here a little earlier than this. Especially once the crops start coming in, but oh well. Not seeing a whole lot out. Once they get the crops in, now they'll, they'll be here. Yeah, 
not a whole lot of activity tonight, but hop back on the bike, head home, go in, maybe have a cup of coffee or something, and go to bed because I got to get up early and do some more stuff for those goats. Spent all afternoon cleaning, cleaning the stalls out, which was not fun. But hope you guys enjoyed this quick daily vlog of me rambling, <laughs> like always. But we have fun doing it. We had I had to throw something together tonight because I just did not have time all week. So hopefully I can give you guys some better content here as we go about my food plots and all that good stuff. Uh, We'll be stepping it up here soon. Thanks, guys. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Tuesday, 6.57. I'm gonna try and get changed real quick and take kind of just a short little hike out and uh, see if I can hear any turkeys gobble, maybe roost a bird, but more so just to get a hike in because it's been a while. I'm looking forward to just getting out, so. Short drive and then I'll be there. scope out some territory Let's see if there are any turkeys around but this is just an after work hike <laughs> disguised as a uh, turkey hunting adventure so I'm just glad to get out here it's been a while this is day three or like the third time I've carried my bow in the woods after turkey this year. So you be. sitting here for a little bit just listening to nothing obviously it's afternoon this log is a little shaky but sometimes it's more about the view than the hunt so I'm just kind of taking in my afternoon been watching some squirrels chipmunks just hanging out enjoying nature That's more what this afternoon was about. I've been working hard, been sacrificing hunting time for other things, so getting a, a little bit of time in out in the woods is never a bad thing. Looking forward to the next week and a half though, because I think I'm gonna actually hunt a little bit in the mornings, so we'll stay tuned for that. And keep grinding.
What's up guys? So it is 334 Wednesday afternoon and I'm driving to Turkey Hunt. I didn't even take my pack off. I just moved my seat back. I'm driving to some state game lands. It's like a 10 minute drive from my front door, so pretty stoked. This will this will be like the first hunt that I feel like I've been on this entire turkey season, so and I have no idea where birds are at. Just uh, going by past experiences and hoping for the best. Just stoked to get out. Well, stupid me forgot my turkey calls and I was only a couple minutes away from the house, but I didn't want to turn around. So fortunately, I have an elk bugle call that we're gonna try to make sound like a turkey. So I'm gonna practice for the next 10 minutes to see if I can uh, keep this call under control. a little bit. 